Hello, everybody. David here from the Mixed Reality team at Microsoft. So by now, you already know how to put on your HoloLens, how to log in, and you've also noticed what I call the Holo hair. There we go. So <laughs> part of the things about using a HoloLens, I hope that you've already started to enjoy it and had an opportunity to play around with it after you've signed in and set it up for the first time. Now, what the objective of today is I'm going to be showing you how to pretty much navigate through the HoloLens. How can you interact with the holograms, the different things that you can do, how to open up apps, how to use voice commands, and a little bit into the advantages of eye tracking, but um, we'll go a little bit more in depth into those in later stages. So for today, I'm not going to be using the docs. I'm actually going to be sharing from my HoloLens, so you will be able to see um, what I'm doing, and hopefully you will be able to follow along and do the same thing with your HoloLens. So for that, I'm going to be sharing just my screen. This is the HoloLens companion app, which we could do a live stream from here. So if I put my visor down, you're going to be able to, then you're going to be seeing my room. So, and for today, I've set up a couple of holograms around my room. There's Betty, and uh, we need to make sure we don't wake her up throughout this demo. So what, <laughs> but you probably by now noticed that we, the HoloLens is tracking your hands and you can see by the rays, you can see over there. And if I do that, then it's already starting to map my environment. So how can I interact with these holograms? How can I open different things? So the very first uh, thing to know is how to open the start menu, which I hope you've already done by now. If not, you put your hand in front of you with the HoloLens and you'll see that the Windows logo appears on my wrist. And if I tap on it, it appears. So I can then tap on it again and it disappears. But another thing that you could do is just use your voice command. So I could say, go to start, and it brings up the start menu. So uh, another cool thing that you could do with a little bit of eye tracking, as I said, is if I put it up, and I'm, uh, so I could see the Windows logo on my wrist, and I'm looking at it, and I just tap like that, there we go. You don't need to need to use both of your hands. So those are some of the things that how you can bring up the start menu. So, well, when, if I have the start menu and I want to open a certain app, let's say I want to get a little bit more tips on how to use the HoloLens. You see, I just clicked on it and it appears. And then pretty much I just have to click on the play button and it'll take me into the application. Now, I'm not going to do that right now because I want to show you different things on how I can interact with all of these different holograms. So there's two things, two ways on how you can interact. One of them is called near interaction and another is far interaction. So for near interaction, pretty much you come close to HoloLens and you see if I put my hand around it, it detects it and, it, and this nice bounding box appears here. And I can do now if with that bounding box, what I can do is you see if I grab the corners, I can scale it. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. Okay. Or if I grab the ones in the middle with my hands, I can rotate it. Move it all around. There we go. Okay. Uh, also, if I uh, hover around the certain menu button, you will see that how the light a little bit is like the shadow lighting of where more it is that I'm pointing. Okay. And now if I press that one there in the middle, it would pretty much now what it does is follows me. Wherever I go, where I'm looking, that app is going to be following me. So I said you can get tired of that. This could become handy if you have a window that you want to look in reference to, towards, but I don't really want this tips app to be following me around. So I just press that button again and I leave it. And if I want to close it, I just want to close that. 
Okay, so this is same thing with the window. I can grab window, scale it, make it smaller, perhaps. But then another thing that we can do now with bar interaction is if you see, if I put my finger out, or even if you just put it in your hands generally, you will see that the rays start coming out. If I put one of those rays uh, and I leave it in one of that, you will see that uh, a tool tip, what we call, says what you could use with the voice command. So now if I say, follow me, this window, follow me. There we go. Now this window will follow me wherever it is that I go. So you can do that just with the voice commands. And if I say, and I want to know how to, for it to then stop following, I just say, and there we go. It will stop following me around. So now another way for far interaction that you could do is you could use the same thing. You could see that the ray is now hitting the hologram and it's saying, okay, what do I want to do with it? If I then put my finger, my index finger, my thumb finger together, I'm selecting it and I can move it around. If this is too far, say, okay, I want to put Earth beside Betty and I put it right there, okay? Or uh, here you can also see if I want to scale it, I can also do that with the far interaction. Or if I want to rotate it, same thing, I just grab it and spin it around. Same thing with our little elephant here, or actually I can click play and it will have a nice animation. Here you go, it's jumping and I can grab the elephant while it's jumping and get the elephant jumping on top of Betty. There you go. <laughs> okay, you see we we're not gonna wake Betty up, so let's close our elephant. Okay. And then we close our right, here, and pretty much you can play around with all of these holograms, move it here and there. And that's very quickly different ways on how you can navigate and interact and with holograms and things that you can do within the HoloLens. Now, one last thing uh, that I would like to show you is, again, now this is gonna be some documentation. You're gonna see me there momentarily, apologize. Here we go. And what I want to show you is if you click here, getting around the HoloLens 2, I will put this link in the description of the video. You will see also all that I've just mentioned. You will, it will be showed here and referenced and explained. So in case you forget, you can just very quickly go through here and you can remember how to do it. And also at the end, it mentions a little bit of the voice commands as well and how you can use them. So I hope uh, that this is useful and I will see you in the next videos where we're now going into more specific things of how to set up your HoloLens with different configurations and policies for your business. Hope you enjoy it.